I showed in the presentation. And in addition to that, the textbook, which is, again, the latest edition, if you look at the book, you see it's a publication that's done in 2010. There's a CD-ROM in the back of the book. There's a CD-ROM included in the back of the book, okay? That contains a lot of information, more information than you can actually can handle up here that is included, it's very interactive. You can get a lot of data that will help you to actually do design as well as some of the particular knowledge. So most of you assume you own, have a computer, utilize it, okay? You're gonna learn a substantial amount of, of information from watching me or actually showing the presentation, <laughs> but you do need to do some work on yourself. This, is not, this course in here is not an easy course. As a matter of fact, it's a difficult course. Okay. You will not be experts on this thing. Again, every one of you has a separate, unique niche, what you want to do in here. Some of you, some of you, you may just want to do strict installation, comply with the National Electrical Code, see what the requirements, make sure the inspector is happy, and so forth. Some of you might be interested in doing the design of it. Some of you may be interested in knowing things about the actual modules itself, inverters, combiner boxes, whatever. Okay? So every one of you have a different need that you that you have to fulfill. Hopefully we'll cover all of that all that. Is that clear? Alright? Check. Uh, what else? I mean, Okay, the first class, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it, what we're going to cover it in, in the 10 classes up here. First class, typically, we're going to talk a little bit about renewable energy, some overview of how this whole thing plays up here. We're we'll talking about a little bit about energy efficiency, some of the codes and standards as they related to solar, what, solar energy, some of the types of green legislation that we have, or green programs, okay? And, <coughs> We're going to utilize the textbook plus the presentation material, which is something that we're going to show. All right? Next, now, probably today is going to be the most general type of a class. Easy, you lay back, you listen to it, you get some information. From there, from the second class on, things are going to start getting tough. Okay? Because what we're going to do is we're going to start doing a lot of the actually technical stuff, as defining some of the solar definitions. We'll talk about solar energy, some of the considerations when you, that you apply to designing a system like this. Uh, we're going to talk about solar radiation resource data, where you're going to find certain types of information that will help you to design these things. Uh, uh, information that is available over the internet, information you can download, information that you might need to design a system itself, uh, a lot of stuff. So this is, but the most important is actually doing the actual solar definition. And in each one of them, I marked down where the actual chapter, what chapter of the book is applied to it, okay? Now, as far as uh, you said, you saw what you're gonna do with all this stuff, now, I'm not gonna give you the presentations. However, what I'd like you to do is jot down some notes in the areas of interest, okay? There'll be probably 100 to 200, pres I mean, uh, PowerPoint presentations in every class. I think the book is sufficient enough to follow it through and get all the information that is, is required as well as the information that I presented up here, okay? If some of you have any kind of unique requirements, you have my email, mark it down, or put it on a piece of paper, give it to Kenny, and I'll try to help you out with that, okay? The, uh, the, uh, the next class that we're gonna do, which is the third class, we're gonna cover electrical concepts. I know most of you are gonna say, gee, I don't wanna go back to that because I know it. We're gonna find out that some of us have forgotten already the stuff that we already know. We're gonna talk about the concept voltage, current, power, resistance. I say, what do I need that? Because you see that in every design that you do, okay, in every design that you do, you still need to do this type of calculations in order to come out with a system, all right? Don't forget a photovoltaic system. Photovoltaic system is a system, it's a what? It's a combination of components to put together to perform a function, right? If any one of them, it's not designed and put together in the proper way, what happens if the system is not gonna work? Is that clear? So we're gonna talk about the, some of the parts associated with the photovoltaic system, uh, modules, inverters, controllers, batteries, batteries, guys, remember batteries? Okay, batteries. Uh, some of the types, we have configurations, components, and you can see the requirements of the 